Black Clover is back, and the fight with Lucifero is finally over. Or it might be. He could. Uh, hmm. That's hard to tell. Let's 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 go through the chapter to find out. So it starts out with Lucifero trying to use his gravity powers to crush Asta with uh, the ground, but Asta moves so damn fast he leaves after him, which is it's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen that in Black Clover in a while. And this is saying something, because he's leaving after images <laughs> against Lucifero, who fucking was speed blitzing everyone, so the fact that he's seeing after images is just amazing. Asta's really powered up. So, throughout the entire chapter, the, we split between the fight and memories of uh, Asta's mom and Liba. Because Asta and Liba are now perfectly fused, they're now able to access each other's memory. And so they're currently, so Asta's finally getting to experience what his mother thought of him and what happened, and he finally understands why he's an orphan. So we go to the point where Likita is telling uh, Liba why she had to give up Asta. So Asta gets to learn through Liba's memory that his mother had to give him up because of her, basically her curse, where she, where she was afraid that she was going to suck up all of his life force if she stayed with him. So Lucifer destroys the ground underneath Asta, and this takes him off balance for a second, which gives Lucifer time to punch Asta straight in the gut. Richter then says... I will never uh, hold him again, I'll never be able to care for him, I'll never be able to see him ever again, but forever and ever and ever and always, I will love him. And we get a little split screen of, of her saying I will always love her son, with Asta just tanking the punch, and Lucifero just surprised by that. And the best part is, it isn't just Asta realizing something about his mother, it's also Lucifero looking at Asta, giving him the same glare that his mother gave uh, him, and Lucifero realizes Holy crap, you're the son of that damn woman that ruined my plan last time. <laughs> Lucifero straight up calls their mother useless to their face. Asta does not like that and immediately just tries to cut his head off, but misses. But he does clip off one of his horns. Lucifero gets another punch in a right square in Asta's face, and it actually bends like his upper body almost completely around. His lower body is still facing Lucifero while his upper body is facing the other direction. It, it almost looks like he broke him in half, but... Of course, <laughs> Asta is able to rebound from this. It just fucking chops off both of Lucifero's arms in one swipe. Lucifero is just dumbstruck for a second, because up to this point, one shot he could have been able to kill Asta, but now none of his blows are working on him, and, and he's also having his limbs just chopped off one after another. Asta then responds to his slight against his mother by saying, the only one who's worthless is you, and cuts Lucifero in half twice. I don't, he doesn't seem to hit his heart because Lucifero survives it, but still, he's just chopped into like four pieces. And the last panel is uh, Asta and, and Levi finally, their devil unit deactivated, so they split apart, and they're standing above uh, Lucifero who's been chopped to pieces and just lying on the ground. And they're about to kill him. Now, the fact that they have not killed him yet, and he's already been chopped to pieces on the ground, and this is the end of the chapter, it is going to be anticlimactic the way they kill him, or Lucifero is somehow going to survive this. Now, there is a possibility that he's probably going to just get, like, absorbed or even killed by the Supreme Devil of the second level. And the only reason I'm bringing him up all of a sudden is because he's been shown, like, in the last ten chapters or so, except for the last two, where Lucifero was on the back foot. So, basically, we're reminded that he existed all this time, and then all of a sudden, we're then told to forget about him? That doesn't make sense. So, he's probably going to be the one to finally finish off Lucifero, which is going to be very weird. Also, I will not like that, because that would just steal the winner away from Asta and, and Liba, who have uh, their revenge to take on uh, this guy. With that being said, now that Lucifero is beaten, maybe, possibly, hopefully, what about all the other devils that are still left now that everyone is basically unable to fight anymore? Like, I suppose Noelle is still around somewhere, but can she fight another Supreme Devil on her own? I doubt it. Like, so, what next what do we do how do we fix what's about to ha go down which is really really bad but yeah now that asta has the ability to like literally nullify any uh, magical attack that hits him including physical attacks so he takes like zero damage he's basically unbeatable like <laughs> like there is no one that can beat asta now he, he is the strongest in the verse period and it doesn't matter if his devil fusion only lasts us a small period of time in that time, the dude is just so fast and so strong, he can wipe out any enemy. It, it's not even fair at this point. Also, if he doesn't become the Wizard King after this, then no one has the right to ever be Wizard King ever again, because the dude just defeated the Devil King. There, are, There is no better result than defeating the top bad guy that ever existed. And like in Naruto, I don't think experience and, 
all that other stuff really seems to matter. All, like Lizard King said, results, 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 results is all that matters. If you are the strongest, you are the strongest. If you can do the most for the, your country, you can do the most for your country. So yeah, Asta, <laughs> Asta has proven that he is worthy of being the Wizard King at this point, and that there is no one who can contend with him. Not even you know, unfortunately. Because I would love to see that fight, uh, them competing with each other to see who's the Wizard King, but at this point, it, there is just Asta. I mean, Yuno does have two separate types of magic, which are pretty OP, but yeah, Asta is just a devil god at this point. But okay, uh, that was the end of this chapter. I really do loved it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, so you can enjoy more Black Clover and other anime things. Thank you, and have a great day.